Hello everyone, welcome back to another principle tutorial. Today we're looking at a very bare bones mock-up of some sort of feed. And this feed has some feed items that I named accordingly. So item one, two, three, etc. And we want to scroll on this feed, but we don't want to do just any regular scrolling. We want to do a really cool, almost Rolodex-like scrolling effect. Because regular scrolling is pretty boring in my opinion. And we've already seen this thousands of times in our mobile apps. The first thing I'm going to do is put all of these feed items inside of a scroll group. So I'm just going to select item 1 and then holding shift, select item 9 to so select everything. And I'm going to hit command G on my keyboard to group everything. And let's just name this scroll group. And under this vertical drop down here, let's select scroll. And now you'll see when we go to scroll, we can't scroll very far. And that's because our bounding box is very large. Let's make this bounding box the size of the artboard. And we can drag it all the way up top. So now when we scroll, we can scroll all the way to the bottom of the content. Very cool. Next, I'm going to hit R on my keyboard to draw a rectangle. And this is going to look really weird at first, but you'll see why I do this. I'm just going to place this rectangle over this item 1. So I'm making it the exact same size as this item 1. And then I'm just going to move it to the top of it so it's flush with the top of that first item. And then holding shift and up arrow key, we're going to space it 10 pixels away from that first item. So this looks really stupid right now, but this rectangle is actually just going to serve as a guide for when we go to animate. So I'm actually going to take the opacity of this down just a bit so we can see what's underneath it. Very cool. Now we can start animating this scroll effect using drivers. So I'm going to open up the drivers window. And now you'll see we can scrub the Y position, or sorry, the scroll offset of the scroll group we made. So what we're going to do is drive these feed items by the scroll offset. So I'm going to select this first item to drive. And I'm going to hit this keyframe icon here. And let's drive the opacity as well as the scale. These are the two things we're going to drive by our scroll offset. So the first element we're driving is this item one here. So when we scrub through this driver window here, we want the driver or sorry, we want the item one to fall within this guide box we made. So I'm just gonna make sure it's flush with the bottom of it. So let me zoom in. So now that item one is flush with the bottom of this guide rectangle. So that's when we know we're ready to add another keyframe to each of these opacity and scale here so we can add another keyframe and once we reach this point with these two keyframes selected we can change the scale to let's make it one half of the original size so let's do 0.5 and we can change the opacity to zero so it's going to fade all the way out and now you see when I scrub from from this keyframe to this keyframe that item fades out and scales down and I know it's being blocked by that guide rectangle, but just take my word for it that it's fading all the way out. We can actually preview this live here. So you'll see that as we scroll, we get this pretty cool effect. So now let's drive the second item. Same exact process. So we're going to select this item. We're going to add opacity and scale keyframes. But notice this keyframe is starting at the end of the first keyframe. So again, we want to scrub so that the second item is flush with our guide box we made. And just do the same thing. So add two more keyframes. And then once we reach this keyframe, we're going to do the same thing. Scale down to one half. And take the opacity all the way down. So let's try it again. So now we get the first one fading out and scaling down. And when we reach a certain point, the next one does the same thing. So let's preview this live here. It's already feeling nice and uh, nice and addicting, honestly. <laughs> Oddly satisfying to do this. So I'm just going to continue this process until we have, I don't know, maybe five of these um, doing this Rolodex effect. I don't want to take all the time to do this to every single item we have here, but just enough to get the uh, get the point across here. So I went ahead and repeated this process three more times and look what we have now. Look how fun this is. <laughs> 
very satisfying for whatever reason. I don't know. I really like this. <laughs> so I have preview live. We can scroll and we can get this sweet little uh, scroll effect, kind of like a Rolodex. I don't know why I keep saying that. I think this is what a Rolodex is. I don't even know what a Rolodex actually is, but I'm calling this the Rolodex effect. Um, you could have gone and I could have gone and uh, did this to every single one of these feed items, but I didn't really feel like it. Uh, let's just get rid of this guide now. And yeah, it looks pretty sweet. And let me just expand the driver window just to show you how it looks. So basically, we're starting to drive each consecutive feed item where the last one ended. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you a quick way to make your scrolling a bit more intriguing. I think doing this creates a bit more of a unique experience for the user. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, comment with what you want to see next, and subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.